Hey, good morning. It's an incredibly beautiful day. It's about 8 a.m. Um, on a Sunday, and uh, it's 18 degrees. You just need a, a t-shirt, you don't need anything else. Fantastic day. So I just wanted to uh, talk uh, for a couple of minutes about um, the cover image for this um, uh, video. The cover image is a new book, Diabetes Distress and Diabetes Burnout. And the two, the two are not, not, uh, are not the same, but they are related. Um, diabetes Distress and Diabetes diabetes burnout both represent ongoing emotional and mental challenges in the face of a condition that requires continuous monitoring of blood sugars, food and drink, exercise and other lifestyle changes. So just to recap on that, I visited my doctor last Thursday and I am medication free again, um, which is incredibly good news. And the lifestyle changes, uh, my doctor said, need, need more attention on weight loss and diet. I'm consuming things which are keeping me medication free from diabetes medication, but I have put on a little bit of weight and she's looking for me to lose about 20 pounds. Um, I think I can probably do 25. But um, some modifications to the diet, some change ups. Um, and a little bit more concentration on uh, the calorie intake uh, as well as the carbohydrate uh, intake to, uh, to reduce, my, uh, reduce my weight. Now back to diabetes distress and diabetes burnout. So what is, what is the difference? Well, diabetes distress is a negative emotional experience of living with and managing diabetes. Diabetes distress isn't the same as depression, but it can turn into depression uh, if, it's, uh, if it's not recognized and if no action is taken to change it. Um, diabetes distress is when a person feels frustrated, defeated or overwhelmed by diabetes. Uh, these feelings may come and go, and it doesn't mean that you have these feelings about other parts of your life. Now, if it sounds like I'm reading some notes, I am. It's uh, the back cover for the, uh, for the book, um, which I'll also put a link in the video to, uh, to my uh, website, where you can sign up for newsletters and information, but also uh, through the website you can purchase uh, the book on Amazon. Diabetes burnout is a feeling of physical and emotional exhaustion due to the demands of living with and managing diabetes. Diabetes is a condition requiring a person to engage in strict self-management and extensive medical or medicinal regime. Now one of the things that um, happens with diabetes distress is caregivers, family members of the diabetic who are also impacted and involved in the uh, health regime of the uh, diabetic can also become distressed. And in my book I refer to my mother who had no background as a caregiver. She was my, she was my father's wife and she was looking after him and she never demonstrated, as I can remember it, any signs of distress, but um, I'm certain that she did have some instances of distress during the period that he, from his diagnosis to when he passed away. So while diabetes di uh, distress is the negative emotional experience of living and managing diabetes, burnout is the emotional exhaustion due to the demands of living with diabetes. And I have experienced a burnout on several occasions. Diabetes burnout for me has been um, a deep feeling of exhaustion, tiredness, mental fatigue. And usually I can turn that around in, in a few days. And one of the things that uh, has helped me is 
now that it has happened several times I can I can see it coming and I can take action uh, much more promptly and the other thing is I'm journaling and journaling is a mental health uh, strategy for recording your feelings um, your intent your ideas um, about life about you that is um, that is a great way to help uh, fight off the effects of burnout so just to recap there is a new book and there'll be links in the in the uh, video and um, when you're looking at uh, the people around you that are supporting you um, look for signs of distress emotional distress at the help and support that they're giving you and please do not ignore it anyway that's it for today fantastic day you could go swimming here very easily the water is still very warm anyway have a great day take care bye now mm -hmm.